After the airport, they, uh, they, they just put us on a car and they said that they will drop you by the hotel. And when we came to the hotel, so we waited like, for one hour here. And uh, then I saw another guy and I talked to him that uh, who is going to handle us. He said that, okay, I will take you to the room. So I am from the Puri culture. And uh, then we got the room here and uh, right now we are here. Uh, we do, we do our, uh, laundry inside the, shower, uh, inside the shower because there isn't any uh, laundry machine or something else that where we should go out and we'll do our laundry and there isn't any open place that we should, we should go over there and wash our clothes and most of the food that we get it's like a burger chips and uh, stuff like that so the kids are really unhappy inside the one room because they, there isn't any like playground for them to that we should bring them outside and uh, they're really unhappy inside the room i don't know we are like blind and deaf we don't know anything about the next step that what will be our next step because uh, there isn't any uh, kind of uh, uh, program or anything else that we should know that what will be our next step and who is going to handle us and how, how we can make to our final destiny, destination. So we don't know anything. So basically I brought like so much donation clothes for the newcomers. They don't have winter clothes, shoes, gloves, hats, uh, sweaters, like some of uh, some of mom they have um, they have little babies they don't have a stroller and stuff they don't they don't have luggages that this uh, so these things i bring for them when i see like they don't have anything i feel so bad i'm from afghanistan I'm from kandahar province uh, the place where canadian forces were come there like 90 percent of canadian forces were in in kandahar province where i am from so like i was like a contractor of canadian forces back in my province like I've done their job, their contracts, their supply for the two for the two different organizations, which is called like a CMC, Canadian Military Contract, and the other one was like an ESU. Mm -hmm. That's like a, a engineering support unit. We are having like a different complaints, like they're not providing the exact food we need. We they're not taking care of our clothing, like a winter clothing, and some medication of the babies or milk of the babies, like especially me, I've been to their office and I called them like a two, three times and I requested for a milk, like for my baby actually. And they said, I'm sorry, we don't have it. You should provide whatever we need because you got a contract from IRCC to supply us whatever we need, but their attitude, their service is poor, I can say.